Uh, hello there ladies and gentlemen. Yes indeed, we're having some fun here at the Tullamore show and it's a great, 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 great day for the family. And just after meeting a gentleman who has a bunch of birds of prey. Hello sir, what's your name? My name is Dennis from Alma Magic or Ballara Falconry, based in Limerick. Very, very good. You have a collection of different types of birds here. Yeah, we have, um, I think it's 12 birds that brought me with You've one hiding here behind the tree. Yeah, she's uh, Lucy. Yeah, hold on now a second. We just see if we can turn around and see Lucy. We'll just tip around here and see Lucy. That's Lucy down there. What is Lucy? She's a common buzzard. Oh wow! She's There's about, so many of them in the country. Yeah, it's unreal. D- doing very well. After ten years ago, they were basically extinct. But uh, we had a very small population, maybe 30, 40 birds in the country. Yeah. But we had an influx of birds from Scotland into the north. Is that where they came from? Yeah, yeah. And because they're they breeding they very well. Yeah, they're doing very well. Wow. Uh, with them, they're complete opportunists. Yeah. You see them falling tractors, picking up worms after cutting sails and stuff. Go away. They'll take rats, wood pigeon, take crow, take um, small rabbits. Excellent. And so, tell me, what's this This guy here? You have an absolute magnificent bird here. What's this lad? Who we're looking at. He's, this, a, he's a ferruginous hawk. A ferruginous yeah, hawk? Yeah, he's actually a cousin to our buzzard. Wow. In the States, he'd be known as a, a ferruginous buzzard. It's his proper title. Beautiful. And we'll just move on. What's this Next lad down is, here? Uh, a red-tailed hawk again. Same family as the buzzard. They're See very, me. very uh, But if you look at how quiet. Um, much bigger feet, much more powerful birds. Says so she's capable of taking rabbits and hares or, or common buzzards, which struggle with um, with a rabbit. She's absolutely she, gorgeous. She, she has no problem with a rabbit. And right, we'll move on powerful. then to this one here. What's this one here? This guy is... Uh, Oops, right, I can... We're getting too close there now. See, okay, so this, this is Jake. He's a Harris hawk. Oh, wow. Uh, native to South America and the southern states of North America. And again, a very popular bird for fox, right? Excellent. Uh, good hunting birds. And moving on then to the little lad uh, that jumped around here. Uh, peregrine falcon, female peregrine falcon. Wow. Fastest the king of the birds. Yeah. Abs- speed up to 150 miles an hour. And the way they, the way they get their... their uh, they, they get height, a few thousand feet, and they come in from a stoop. Wow. And it's not just a stoop, it's actually powered. They beat the wings coming down and just keep the acceleration going. And then bang, bang get the bird. Yeah, bang it to birds. Wow. The and bird's body's dead for you know it's for him. Where did you get this bird? She was actually captive bred. Yeah. And uh, which is fairly popular in the last 15 years. A lot of guys captive breed. Beautiful. We have a number of wild peregrines that we get in that need rehab and then they're released back into the wild again. But she was actually captive bred. Excellent. Now will we move around straight this way or go around this way? Because... Uh, this guy, him though, he's uh, a hybrid. Oh really? He's actually crossed between the deer falcon and the Sega Falcon. Wow. And hybrids are getting more and more popular. Some theory is um, you kind of get the best of both breeds. Yeah. Will happen. Sometimes you get the worst of both breeds. So it's just a bit of a, a bit of a gamble really what you got. The lad in the far distance, is that uh, a kestrel? Common kestrel, it's a male. Is there many kestrels in Ireland? Numbers actually dropping. People think they're increasing. Yeah. But with all the new new road networks, yeah. we are travelling through the countryside more in Asia, so we're seeing them more but the numbers officially are actually dropping. So the famous ones that, that, that I see in the sky is the buzzard. Yeah. The kestrel, kestrel now and again, and sometimes the sparrowhawk, but I haven't seen yeah, too many. Yeah, sparrowhawks are doing okay. They're, yeah. they're holding their own. But with sparrowhawks, they're known as the hedgerow, hedgerow bandits. Yeah. Uh, they're very elusive hunters. They actually hide. They use the hedge as a cover. Yeah. And then just dash out and grab their prey. Yeah. It, it's very, very difficult to spell it. Like they'll fly that. They, they use the yeah, contour of the land. To hide themselves well, so it's all, it's barrocks, it's all ambush. Absolutely. So it's sometimes, occasionally you see a sparrow up sawing around and they're just scouting the place to see what's down here, then they'll come down and Excellent. put on the camera And you have an suit. absolute beautiful white bird here, what he's exactly? Another, uh, he's actually a brother to the black guy. To who? The black guy, the last guy, oh, right. that's right. actually his brother. So, so this uh, is a mixture as well, yeah, is it? Yeah, a Joe Falcon and a Circa Falcon. Wow. So tell me, where exactly are you based, sir? In Kilmallock, come to Limerick. In Kilmallock. Yeah. And what, do you just find all these birds or you go looking for them or these do you guys, come these, to you? Uh, these guys, the birds displays are our own birds. For the most part, they're captive bred. Right. But then we have a lot of birds we get in from National Parks, Wilder Savers, from vets, from guards, from members of the public. They find them injured and they bring them towards us we pick them up. And tell me, how did you get into this? Since I was a kid, first Really? The first one was, I was six. Well, if a black bird, or actually a starling, yeah. I was six. First bird of prey, I was ten. 
Wow. And all my life they're making out so just Because kinda... I was the same, well, I mean I didn't catch birds or find them, we tried to, we'd look for their eggs and we'd yeah. climb through trees and rip the arms off yourself and find yeah. the nest. But well, uh, what, what I used to know is the kids uh, found, find a starling and then I'd usually babies this time of the year. Yeah. I'd go and look what the other starlings are doing, what they're eating, then I'd go and pick up their food. Right. And feed it to this guy. Same if, if I found a, a trush or a, a sparrow, yeah. I'd just spend a couple of hours watching what the other guys are doing and then go back and do that with the uh, injured guy. So you'd reckon it's a bird in you? I'd say probably more bird than person, I'd say, I guess. If you can find it, I'll show you a photograph if you can find it. <laughs> So like, uh, Once again, what's your name? Dennis, Dennis McCarthy. And Dennis, if someone wants uh, to find or send their bird to you, where we, what do we do with them? You get some information there. Yeah, the on wall. the van there, yeah. It's uh, Animal Magic. Animal uh, we Magic. We have a Facebook page and we have a website, so you can contact us through that. Animal Magic Animal Magic, yeah, yeah. Well, look, and, uh, it's a pleasure to have you on from Mullingar in Mullingar at the Tullamore Show, and I hope you have a fantastic winter. Are we coming into winter now, huh? Very close, I think, Very yeah. Close. Hopefully, yeah. Keep so the head down. <laughs> Look, thanks a million. Thanks Talk to you much. soon. Thanks a lot. You're a star. Yeah. There you go, folks. A bit of information for you. And we turn around here and we maybe get the information here. It might be upside down. But there you are. Just write it down and check out this man. He's a legend.